morning kids. How are you feeling today? Miss Leah is feeling happy. Are you really happy? Because you're back to listen here another episode of I Love Learning with Miss Leah. Exclamation mark. Today is a sunny, gorgeous Thursday, May 21st, 2020. And we are on our fourth sense today. We already learned about three other ones. Do you remember? Hearing, yes. Smelling, yes. And touching. And now we're going to hear another one. It has to deal with a body part that is on our face. You ready to find out? Let's go listen. Seeing the five senses. The Five Senses Seeing by Rebecca Rissman. Table of Contents. Let's go. Senses. We all have five senses. We use our senses every day. Seeing and touching our senses. Tasting, smelling, and hearing are also senses. How do you see? You use your eyes to see. Your eyes are in your head. Your eyes are round like balls. Your eyes have many parts. Your eyelashes help keep dirt out of your eyes. What can you see? Your eyes can see color. Your eyes can see shapes. Your eyes can see things that are near. Your eyes can see things that are far away. Your eyes can see big things. Your eyes can see small things. Protecting your eyes. Sunglasses can protect your eyes. Your eyelids can protect your eyes. Helping people see. Some people wear glasses to help them see. Some people do not see at all. They use other senses to help them. Naming the parts of the eye. Let's see how we remember where they go. Point to where these labels should go. What part is this eye called? The eyelid, right. And this arrow is pointing to what part of the eye? You're right, the eye. And these little hairs that protect our eyes? Eyelashes, way to go. Picture glossary, eyelashes. Small hairs on your eyelid that help keep dirt out of your eye. Eyelid. Part you can use to cover and protect your eye. Protect. Keep something or someone safe. Sense. Something that helps you smell, see, touch, taste, and hear things around you. The end. Seeing. This is a really cool, fun activity. I'm going to show you some slides, some pictures, I should say, of different things. And you are to tell your parents what it is you see in the picture. Miss Leah will say 
to think, you know, I'll say something, I'll ask you a question and then you can decide and tell your parents what did you see. Parents, you can do it too. It's really, really fun. Also, I'm going to attach a link that you can click on to um, take another like quiz to see how good your eyesight is. Okay, so have fun. You know how Miss Leah loves elephants. Here's an optical illusion for you. How many legs do I have? How many legs do you see, children? <laughs> Is it four? Take a look at this picture, children. Tell your parents, what do you see? Do you see the old lady and the young lady? Here's a third picture, children. What do you see when you look at this picture? Do you see a nice vase? Or do you see two faces looking at each other? Here's the second picture, children. When you first look at it, what do you see? Do you see another animal? Do you see two animals in this picture? Ha! Ah. So from the book, children, which body part do you use to see? Yes, in this book, it showed us that our eyes is what we use to see and how to keep our eyes safe and that there are some people who can't see at all, but they do have help. There is help that they have in order to help them be able to know. What Another thing you can do, children, is to go sit outside. Like seriously, like, go sit outside. Just sit and just look around, see the different things, really see things that you probably didn't even notice before, hear different things in your neighborhood, smell, maybe there's something cooking in your neighborhood. So tune in tomorrow, children, for the last sense that Miss Leah will read to you. And it's going to be a really, really yummy one. <laughs> And also, we will take a look and see how our seeds are doing. Remember when we planted them? Now we can go and see if anything happened. So, I will see you. No, you. I won't see you, but I hope you see me tomorrow. Okay? Bye, children.